Tonight about safety on Metro. This time it's centered on training. Metro announcing it's temporarily sidelining dozens of train operators who did not complete their safety recertification. So how did that even happen? And what does it mean for you? Bruce Bushan is live at the Lockhart Plaza Metro Station getting answers from transit leaders. And Bruce, once again, we're talking about safety issues for Metro. Yeah, right. Lorenzo, we've been talking about this for years, but it is just so darn important. A culture of safety. The Washington Metro Rail Safety Commission says there are parts of Metro that simply do not have that safety culture. It says it's been trying to get Metro's attention on this recertification issue for weeks now, and suddenly over the weekend, Metro admitted it had an issue and pulled these 72 train operators out of service until they can get up to speed on training. New trouble tonight for troubled Metro. The chief safety officer admits nearly half of the system's 500 train operators have fallen behind on recertification. 72 fell behind more than a year ago. This is not the operator's fault at all. This is the manager's responsibility uh, and the management responsibility to make sure these things happen. Both Metro and the Safety Commission say there's no imminent threat to public safety or riders. But keeping train operators up to date is a safety concern. <laughs> when a woman asphyxiated on a smoky train in 2015, the Safety Commission says the train operator was behind on training on the ventilation system. The Safety Commission says it has been telling Metro for weeks that dozens of operators had lapsed certification. Why didn't Metro pay attention? That's a good question. Elements of Metro Rail have a culture that accepts noncompliance with written rules and procedures. The Safety Commission says some Metro staffers knew there was a problem with train axles on its newest cars before a derailment forced the agency to pull half its fleet out of service, a problem it is still struggling with. Please watch your step as you travel throughout the Metro Rail system. And Metro says pulling 72 operators out for retraining will mean even longer delays on the green and yellow lines. I don't need delays. I need to be on time because I got to run and pick up my grandson. I do feel safe riding Metro still, but we, we do want our people updated. Now, Metro says it is now looking at bus operators as well, trying to figure out how many bus operators may have lapsed certification issues. Leslie and Lorenzo, back to you.